Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome to. So today's tutorial will show you how to create mirrors for The Sims 4. Today's episode is for a supporter of mine who messaged me on Tumblr needing help creating mirrors. So this one is for you and for anyone else who needs it. So enjoy and thanks for watching. So the first thing you wanna do is open up Sims 4 Studio. Then we want to go into create 3D mesh and then click object. Then you want to find a floor mirror because that is what we're doing today. But you can do the same process with a, uh, a wall mirror as well. So let's find our floor mirror. This is the one that we're going to uh, base it on or merge it with to make it work. I thought I recorded this video already, but apparently it didn't record. So I'm here doing it again. <laughs> so um, I've already got it in my mods folder. So I'm just going to replace it and we'll do it again. <laughs> okay, so then you want to export your mesh and save it. And then you want to go over to Blender and open your mirror. So then we can look on the side here. And so each mesh uh, got a number and each mesh does something different or is something different. So Studio Mesh Zero is uh, the shadow, okay? And then Studio Mesh One is the base of the, um, the mirror, as you can see. Um, I'll highlight it for you. There. And then the white in the middle is obviously the mirror, but that is Studio Mesh Two. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna build the base in Studio Mesh One. So I'm gonna keep it as a reference for now. But I'm going to go into edit mode here. I'm also going to press this button here because you'll constantly see it then. And it's easier to work with your mesh and to delete it and stuff like that. So it's just a lot easier. And I'm also going to press this one because I can grab stuff a lot easier too. It depends what you want to grab. If you want to grab corners or individual faces, then that one is better. If you want to grab lines then that one is better if you want to grab like the whole actual thing you know then yeah that one is better and if you want to select the whole thing then it's a okay so let's get into it i'm gonna build the base i'm gonna start off with a cube but i want to make it wider than the one that's already in the game well in blender right now so i'm gonna make it maybe like this thick but i'm gonna make it just as thin as the other one i'm gonna place it just at the top and then i'm gonna click here well click this one here and then click here and bring it all the way down to the red line at the bottom make sure it don't go under the red line on the bottom because when you put it into the game uh, when you put your mirror into the game, the it will be under the floor. You don't want that. You want it to be just above the floor. So always keep it just above the red line. I still want to make it a little bit wider, you know. So Okay. And then I want to tilt it because I want it to lean up against the wall. So I'm going to press R and X. And then I'm going to bring it forward a little, like that. So now what we want to do is get rid of the default base mesh. So we stay in edit mode, press A to highlight everything, press B. And then if you've got a middle mouse, then you can drag that and, and highlight this. It's that little dot down there because you haven't unwrapped your UV. So that's the new one. That's the, the this one that we just made. So you need to highlight all of the old mesh and then press delete and uh, delete the vertices. We need to make a space for the mirror in the middle. So I'm going to press E and then S. And I'm going to scale it in. But as you can see, the top is a lot thicker than the sides. So I'm going to make it like this. And then I'm going to press S and X 
to scale in the sides. I'm going to press E. I'm going to press E and then bring it back just a little bit so we have space to put the mirror. Okay, we can sort that out soon. You can change the solid shade in if you want. It's a lot easier to see. Okay, so there's the shape of our mirror. The base mesh for the mirror is done. So the, the most complicated part is this one. It ain't even that complicated, but this is the part that most people struggle with, I would say. So we're going to just hide that a minute. Okay, so we're going to bring the mesh to the front. And we need to rotate it so it's in line. Like this, I would say. So we have to rotate it so it's, you know, the right. So now I'm going to scale it out so it fits in the little area that we made for it to sit in. So it looks like an actual mirror. Um, I'm just going to get it perfect. I might have to rotate it a little bit more, but I'm going to pull it all the way down uh, from the bottom so it sits there. Okay. Today I'm just going to do one colour, a one colour base. So today isn't really about unwrapping UVs because obviously we've we've done that in the other tutorial on how to create objects. It's the same process, you just unwrap the UVs the same way. I'm going to just unwrap it simply. Okay, so when editing the UVs, we want to... Put, place uh, these UVs on the left side in the corner. Make sure it's in the box and not out. So you want to put them on that side. And then the mirror mesh, you want to put on this side so it's out the way. Because when we um, import them into Sims 4 Studio, the UVs merge together and they make one big one. So you don't want them overlapping and stuff like that. So yeah. So then we save and we import them and import your mesh that we just saved in LOD0, LOD1 and LOD2. And then you want to press LOD0 and export the mesh again, but this time save it as shadow, shadow mirror. So then we want to open Blender. And we want to open the mesh that we just saved as shadow mirror. So over here you can see cuts, right? So you want to go to uh, studio mesh one and press zero because that will be the shadow. Um, and then studio mesh two will be zero. And studio mesh zero will be one and then save and then we go back over to sims 4 studio and we go to shadow lod zero and import the new shadow lod's here i'm just gonna name it um mirror for tutorial put my website in there and then i'm just gonna make it like twenty dollars now right then we go over to warehouse we can import our normals and specular maps if you need a tutorial on that then go over to my previous uh, video that i posted the links are in the description and it will show you how to do specular and normal maps i'm just going to do these quick off video now our uvs so we we'll go back to meshes and we go up to lod zero now, we need to open up Photoshop to edit our UVs. So let's go and do that. We're going to open Mirror 1, which is the base mesh texture, the base mesh UV map. So then I'm going to just make it like 
a charcoal grey, maybe a little darker than charcoal grey. And I'm just going to paint over it. It don't have to be uh, like any, anything fa fancy as long as it don't go over here. And then I'm going to also drag in the mirror, uh, the other UV map that we exported, which was mirror. I'm going to drag it into the same one. And on this one, I'm just going to paint it white. I'm going to export it and then we go back over to Sims 4 Studio and we import our texture there. I don't know why it's showing black right now. Maybe there's an issue, but I'm going to try it out in game to see. Let's see. Hey guys. So right there, we have made a mirror. Um, as you can see, what I'm talking about with the base colour, it's not so flat, it's, it's just, you know, it looks like a mirror. Um, the texture's fine. You might have to go and do the shadow fix, um, the see-through mesh fix, which is also a YouTube tutorial that I did, because um, it's a little bit see-through. But um, other than that, it looks fine. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm showing you my uh, my collection that I made this week. Uh, you can get that on Patreon, by the way. Public release is in December. But yeah, we just made a mirror. I'm so happy with it and it looks good. So I'm glad I could help you all. If you have any issues at all, just put in the comments and I will help you as much as I can. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to give a like, a subscribe, a comment, whatever you want to do. See you.